Let's talk about the string split method. If you need to break a string into smaller strings based on a separator, you can use the string split method. The separator you split by can be any substring. It doesn't need to be just one character. Note that it's a little bit unusual to call the string split method on a single space character. It's usually preferable to call split without any arguments at all. Calling split with no arguments will split on any consecutive white space characters, so we're even splitting on a new line here in between up and like. Also note that the split method without any arguments removes leading and trailing white space, so you can see the new line was removed from the end of this string. There's one more split feature that's often overlooked. When calling split with a max split value, Python will split the string a given number of times. So here we're splitting this string on a pipe character just one time. This is especially handy when you only care about the first or the first couple occurrences of a separator within a string. If it's the last couple occurrences of a separator that you care about, you can use the string rsplit method instead. rsplit splits from the right-hand side of the string, or you can think of it as a reverse split splitting from the end of the string. So here we're splitting on the last occurrence of the pipe character. With the exception of calling split without any arguments, there's no way to ignore repeated separators or split on multiple separators at the same time, or remove leading or trailing separators from the ends of your string. If you need any of those features, you should look into regular expressions using Python's RE module. Specifically, the re.split function may come in handy.